Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 2230 channel, your source for in-depth coverage of news and events from the Asian region. Today, we have a fascinating and somewhat concerning story to discuss, so make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends to spread awareness. Now, let's dive into the case of Han Fizi, who was recently sentenced to jail in Singapore. This story is not only intriguing but also serves as a valuable lesson for all travelers and expatriates about respecting local laws and customs. Han Fizi, a 29-year-old woman, faced a series of charges in Singapore, and she eventually pleaded guilty to five of them. These charges included one count of public nuisance, two counts of using abusive language against public service workers, two counts of assaulting security officers, one count of intentionally causing harassment, and two counts under the Employment of Foreign Manpower Act. It's essential to understand the gravity of these charges to comprehend the severity of her actions. Now, let's delve into the specifics of the case. Hanfizi found herself in a tricky situation, starting with an incident at the sail at Marina Bay. A male security supervisor called the police when he found her squatting in a lift lobby, appearing drunk. After verifying her residency, he and his female colleague helped her back to her unit. However, things took a drastic turn when Hanfizi turned aggressive, pointed fingers, and used vulgar language. She even physically pushed the security supervisor. The court heard that she shouted derogatory language multiple times, making this incident quite distressing. Additionally, another incident occurred at the Singapore General Hospital's Accident and Emergency AND, department. Han had been involved in a traffic accident and admitted to being drunk at the time. Her behavior at the hospital was equally disturbing. She began screaming, shouting, and throwing items, including a mask given to her by the hospital staff. This behavior led to the involvement of the police. But what makes this story even more intriguing is Hanfizi's background and intentions in Singapore. She claimed that she only wanted to come to Singapore for fun, despite applying for a work permit with false information. This decision led her to work as a freelance hostess, creating a complex situation that ultimately landed her in legal trouble. The court heard that she had been to Singapore four times since 2019, not counting this recent trip, which is quite revealing. Now, let's talk about Hanfiz's sentencing. She received a jail sentence of five weeks and five days, along with a fine of 600 Singapore dollars. The judge was clear in his assessment, highlighting that Han's actions had no excuse, especially when those involved were trying to help her. He described her behavior as loutish, belligerent, and aggressive, with intoxication being an aggravating factor. It's clear that the court took a stern stance against her actions. Hanfizi expressed her remorse and shared a heartfelt letter during her mitigation. She explained her distress at the time and the personal challenges she faced, including family members dealing with cancer. It's a sad reminder that many individuals travel for work, leaving their families behind, driven by the noble intention of providing financial support. In the end, she concluded by apologizing for her actions and expressed a desire to return to her family in China. So, here's where I want to hear from you our fantastic 2230 community. What do you think about this case? Do you believe the sentence was fair? And how can travelers better prepare themselves when venturing into a foreign country? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Hanfiz's case. If you found this video informative and engaging, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content about Asian news and events. This is 2230, signing off for now. Stay informed, stay engaged, and, most importantly, stay curious.